just after one Wednesday morning. Massive flames can be seen coming out of the roof of the Hope and Care Assisted Living Home. Security camera footage shows one neighbor even trying to put out the fire with the hose. Employee Timothy Spencer ran right in without hesitation. When I entered the building, there was smoke everywhere. I just went from room to room and um, got residents out one by one. Many of these residents unable to walk out on their own. Some of our residents have um, no mobility at all. So I had to carry some of them out, and then the ones I could put in wheelchairs, I got those out. Spencer says he helped rescue about a half dozen residents. At the same time, firefighters and another employee helped pull out the others. Firefighters say 24 people were inside, including employees. Holly Boggs lives next door and helped in whatever way she could. So we got the hose over the side and was trying to, put, you know, spray it until they got here. And then, um, uh, of course, uh, they came and I was helped wheeling people out down, got him on the side, brought him some blankets and water and his bed it was, it was pretty bad. It was engulfed. I mean, just like scary. <laughs> the four alarm fire brought out more than 40 fire trucks and ambulances, a large number because Portland Fire says they were preparing for the worst. Luckily, there were no injuries. Uh, they called that mass casualty incident because the, the anticipation of multiple victims. We always want to overload the situation, so we had at least five ambulance arrive. Residents watched from lawn chairs, wheelchairs, some on the ground as the rescue continued to unfold. TriMet buses were used as shelters. And before those buses arrived, two residents were taken to the hospital just to get warm. Spencer was also taken for smoke inhalation. Overall, I'm doing okay. His first thought, though, was for those that live there. Oh, just making sure they're okay, um, you know, making sure uh, that they know that they're going to be okay, that they're going to get somewhere warm, um, because they're, this is their home. They're, they were literally dragged from their home in the middle of the night. Now the residents that live there were placed in the company's other building that is on the back side of that property. Portland Fire says it most likely started in the attic. They just don't know what caused it at this point. Drew? All right, Devin, thanks for that update here this afternoon.